everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's been a while since I've done any kind of like actual recording of a video. But there we go. Mostly because the bathroom was being... We were having our bathroom fitted. And now it's done. And the house is tidy. And everything like that. It's all done. So... And this is, is going to be a couple part build video. It's a big build again. It's kind of another like townhousey type build. Um, I would probably finish this in the time, but because we had our computer downstairs, they had a different layout slightly, and it meant that my screens were flipped. And you'll notice at some point in this video, the resolution changes on one of the clips. That's because my screens are flipped and. One screen is smaller than the other, which is annoying. But now we are all back to normal. We can just get on with things and it will all be good. So yeah. Now this is gonna be a little bit different to the big like lot of townhouses that I did last time as there's lots of different styles and everything built in. It looks like a city street more than like a town street because there's like different heights, different styles and everything. It looks kind of like wait, they've slotted other buildings in between other buildings if they've like some of them had got damaged or you know with their first and they sold off the land to the side. It happens quite frequently when you walk around some cities that are old cities. You'll see all these like old buildings and then there'll be these little modern ones sometimes slotted in there. So that's what we aim for with this lot. I think it looks really cool. You'll see the general gist of it all with how the outside looks. I think we get most of the outside done in this part of the build video. It's like more the internal stuff we haven't touched really. I think one of them is done. So this is going to be a long process. It's probably going to be a three part video. I'm going to say getting it all nicely done and looking how I want it to. Now I haven't touched this build for like around a month probably because it's just one of those things. Yeah, just you know, I'm adding in the little, uh, the finer details of this house. I wanted, well it ends up being like a pub cafe type thing. So yeah, if you were to use this lot, it has lots of different functions you could use it for like a cafe or a retail lot or a residential lot I don't have any of the retail stuff so I can't really mess with that but you could use it for retail and have like lots of little different sections of stores in the different buildings I don't know or you just have it as like residential and you have a few families in there you probably want to have mod it if you're going to use it for that and have um, all of those like fancy the one where the mod the way you can have like all the different people living in more than eight sims on a lot that's what I meant god so it's been a while it's been a while since I've done this so yeah so yeah so we've got like some brick buildings we've got this one in the Tudor style what well, I would call it Tudor. I don't know if everyone else calls it Tudor. Tudor. Considering a lot of like the world was around, like the Americas and stuff, they weren't there really around when the Tudors were. But there we go. It's a Tudor style house. Yeah, I was going to try not to cheat, but hey. That went out the window. So yeah, it, I keep that one as like a pub type building. And then we have all these modern ones, which have a few balconies and all the big windows. Because they're quite small and thin, not a lot of light gets in. So in the end, we end up having some of the um, the dance floor roofs and everything to add extra light into those buildings, which is always a good choice. Yeah, I tried to put in as much, as many windows as I could in those ones without it looking too weird. 
Oh yeah, and I think, oh yes, we want bad gardens as well, don't we? So yeah, at the minute we're just going through and doing both of the, all three of the modern ones I think we do, after we did the Tudor one. And then we go and do the three brick build buildings. Yep, so here's the other modern one. This one is, ends up being a really weird shape and I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it yet. As this isn't a, is as this lot is still in like a work of progress, you can leave comments down below with suggestions and stuff of what you'd like to see inside each of these houses. I've got a few ideas of what I want in them, like um, having a pub in the Tudor style building. Um, yeah, I decided that was two new windows for that one. I just think, hang on, they have no privacy in the house, are they? Um, I was thinking like a bookshop slash library in the big brick one. This this one in the middle is just a residential building. And as is the little modern house next to it, is what I was thinking. And then the bigger modern one in the middle, I was thinking of having as a shop and a flat. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, a little shop and a flat. You'll see from the outside of where all these different things go. Really, I really wish that more things came in like matching colours. Yeah. I'm trying to work out how I want the windows to go in this lot and you know. Oh. Yeah. Windows are a hard thing because a lot of them don't match. I wish everything came with standard recolors. Because that would just make everything so much easier. And I hope I changed the colours on that one. If not, I will have to do it when I next go and record for this house. Oh, it changes anyway. It changes yet anyway. It's fine. I'm trying to work out what I want. It's quite hard to realise. When you're doing a few outside ones, but you want them to all look vaguely different, it can be a bit hard. Especially when they're like similar styles. Yeah, I probably want to change the wood on that one if I haven't done it already. To white. So yeah, we're just like, so this one I wanted to like, it's probably a bookshop library and then probably have like a nice grand flat on the top and it's quite a big building. You don't, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it all. I'm trying to make it look fancy this one. Because that was the aim, it's a big posh bookshop that's probably been there for hundreds of years was the plan of that one. So yeah. Now we're just going to sort out what fences and everything, everything is going to have. And the ones that don't have like fences I think I decide are going to be retail ones. So maybe I don't have them at all. Because I think it adds that little bit of privacy to those little lots which are not retail. No, you don't want people walk into your garden all the time. Yeah, I couldn't quite make up my mind what I wanted for that one. There you go. Yeah, so that's like a pub, so it's probably going to have a nice pub garden outside the back as well. Oops. So yeah, we're just like Sorting out this one's front garden now. And a little pathway to it. Um, trying to decide what trees. Are. It's quite hard to work out what we want for these buildings a lot of the time because I obviously need to invest more money into my Sims collection because I want more flowers. So I need. I think I need to get the romantic garden stuff pack. Because that has those different flowers which add in. It's mostly recolors, I know, but it's kind of what I need. Just 
that adds a little bit of variety to some of the gardens and stuff we have in the in this pack. Yeah, that one's just quite plain. Now I'm not sure if all the separate mailboxes are going to work or anything. But yeah, so here's like our pub area. It doesn't need like a phone box or anything because you know it's a pub. Yeah. I like keeping all the oh yeah, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted this to be something else. So it's a shop, isn't it? So and it is like a nice little fancy looking one thing. And then this one. Yeah. We put some hedges along the sides because I want it to be like a, a plaza in front of the library. Kind of thing. So I was going for it looks quite nice when it's all finished you will see shortly there you go add lots of flowers this is I want there to be lots of color and difference and all of that in these it's was my main aim I couldn't decide how I wanted the concrete look on that one so yeah there is the basic outline of how I wanted all of us, this front bit to look. Putting in some of these little drain pipe bits and pieces on that one. A nice little canopy over that, which I thought looked quite nice and cool. Yeah. I did, I wanted there to be colour and texture. I didn't want there to be like lots of flat buildings and everything, you know. Especially with this one on the end, I wanted there to be flowers or the climbing stuff because it adds a nice touch to this building, which otherwise would have been quite plain on that side, and I didn't want that. So, yeah, we're getting into putting in some of the furniture and stuff now for the outside areas. Like, that's like a nice little big garden type space where you can go drink your drinks stuff and then this one oh yeah this is like a little cafe on the outside so I was thinking of and then this is like a outside plaza type space with some of these cool trees and boxes I thought they were quite interesting we have lots of benches on the end so yeah you can go borrow or buy your books from there and then go read them out from the plaza Try and put in some more of these drain pipes because why not? I thought they were quite cool. So yeah, now we are moving on to the first house and you know, sorting it all out and I just realised those windows are in the wrong place, pretty much. They need to move down, oh yeah, okay, I've moved them down, it's okay. I couldn't quite remember if I did or not. So yeah, this is quite a nice little basic house, so old fashioned style, you know. Has a couple of bedrooms and a couple of bathrooms, it's got everything your sim, a family could need, you know, you could just live in that one house and just have the rest as decoration, but yeah, <laughs> that would be a little bit disappointing. I think it is a real shame that they didn't like when they bought in city living that they didn't have all the apartments and stuff because this would be a great lot for that they really missed a trick with that they did you know it's meant to be a game of creating stuff and it's a shame that you can't go and create your own apartments and stuff and it's even a pain in the butt like designing apartments and everything because then you can't upload them to the gallery. They really didn't think so very Anyway, we're just lighting this one up a little bit. Keeping with the old fashioned theme was my plan for this one. You know, I didn't want it to look I wanted them to look like it had been updated. Because this is all the super modern houses as well. I wanted this one to be different. 
No, it's got a nice little island and stuff. People can sit and it's got like a little utility room to hide all the modern appliances because I didn't want them. Oh, I'll show you, really. But that way we could still have like the modern amenities like your microwave and your dishwasher and stuff like that but without having to yeah just wondering if we can hide that with a hedge not really very well but it'll do those hedges are really annoying because they really do cut into your rooms and that just bugs me it just bugs me So this has ended up being quite, it's quite a nice sunny room I think, with that hint of green and stuff like that, it looks quite nice. Got a little piano, I wish they had like a proper, not the grand piano, but a piano that was small, like what you'd see in most people's house, most houses if they had a piano, they wouldn't have a massive one, they'd have something small, size of the keyboard but made out of wood. You know, adding in lots of these little details here and there, you know, getting some towels in and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a bit where I filmed it on my other monitor and I was like, oh, yes, I shouldn't have done this. Luckily, it's not for very long, it's just at the end of the video. We're just finishing off furnishing this house. I can't remember why we moved things around. Probably because of the cats. Cats get in the way of lots of things. I think they might have knocked something off onto the, nearly onto a screen, and we don't want that. You know, the, a lot of the bedrooms end up being quite plain because I just didn't know what quite to put in them. Now this one ends up being a nice toddler's room because I thought, well, now we've actually got all the toddler stuff in here, might as well use it. It makes quite a nice little coloured themed room, doesn't it? So the plan. Trying to get in as much as we can. And we have that nice road. We size it up because I wanted it bigger. Adds a nice bit of colour to the room and we put in these curtains. Yeah. And the cloud light because why not? Why not? And yeah. I really do want to get more of the stuff packs. I don't think I've got any of the stuff packs but I think they would be handy for some of the objects like I kind of want the kids one. I've wanted the kids one since that came out because a lot of the base game kids stuff is pretty gross looking a lot of the time. It doesn't quite look like it belongs in a kids room so this was like a nice teenager's room you know it's a bit He's obviously someone who likes his music or her music, you know. A bit messy was the plan. I didn't want it to be. I didn't want. I don't like teenagers when you make a teenager room and it's spotless because I know when I was a teenager, my room was never spotless. Apart from when it was like freshly tidied. But I know most teenagers don't have their rooms freshly tidied all the time. No. And then I think we go up to the top floor and then we're going to focus. Oh no, we're doing. I need some pictures in. And we're just going to work on these last two bedrooms the master bedroom and then just this. This ends up being like a spare bedroom. Or it could be like the grandparents or something, you know. This could be a multi generational home. It's, it's just a home, isn't it? I think that's what I was aiming for with this. For an adult couple, maybe an aunt or uncle or the grandparents. Again, it's not perfectly spotless. It looks like it's been lived in, which is the aim. And a few little touches here and there. You know, you don't want things to be perfect, otherwise it just looks a little bit fake. Okay, so now we do the master bedroom which has these nice wardrobes and 
one of these vanity units. It come with the... Oh yeah, I have got one stuff pack, haven't I? I got the luxury stuff pack because I love Art Deco stuff. Love. Don't even know why, but I love it. I don't even have anything in my house that looks remotely Art Deco because we live in a 1950s house and I don't think it would quite go. And we're trying to make it look quite modern and everything at the minute. But yeah, if we if we were in a 30s house, I'd have bought some like little Art Deco antiques to put in it. But we didn't. Anyway, there's no screenshots in this video, so it will be ending soon. Please like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.